Hi guys, it's True here. Welcome to another episode of Nintendo Sunday. Today I'm bringing you Ghosts and Goblins on the NES. Uh, this game uh, is based on the 1985 arcade machine. And the NES version I think came out in 1986. I think everybody knows this. This is the uh, prequel before Goons and Ghosts, which is probably the more well known of the two games. Follows a similar plot. Um, you play as half of the night, his princess gets stolen by um, my Satan, the Lord of Darkness, or Lord of Hell, whatever. As per usual with these games, you start off in the graveyard with your lance and your suit of armor. The first hit you lose your armor, and the second hit uh, kills you. Unlike the sequels, this one is more a lot more basic. There's only um, three main weapons, you have your lance which you start with, you have the dagger which is universally the best weapon throughout all the games, and you have the worst, oh and there it is, <laughs> you have the weapon nobody wants, the holy fire which is absolutely shite. Now unlike the sequel there's no chest to shoot, no magicians appearing and there's no way to pick back up your armour. You also can't fire upwards, you just got to use fire on a horizontal plane. So you've got to um, jump and duck to vary the heights of your shots. Now, <coughs> this game's a bit more forgiving than some of the other, uh, well, than the sequel, but oh, there's a dagger. But this game in particular is a right nightmare most of the time. You've got a horrible. Oh, you died quite easy actually. I've ne never actually played this version, but that was quite easy. Uh, it's got usually an annoying swoop down, which you can't actually dodge if you just decided to do it. You're pretty much knackered. But yeah, you went down pretty quick. Oh, you clown! And that's what you don't do. You, you don't beat a pretty tricky enemy and then fall down a bloody hole. Hopefully, that's triggered the checkpoint there. Yeah. Oh, these things are a nightmare. You can't actually kill them, so you've got to just duck down and hope you've put yourself in a good position there. Absolutely horrible thing. Another jump. What the hell are them? What the hell's that? I have no clue what that did. It didn't give me any points, didn't change weapon, but what did it do? Oh, it's game over as well. Alright, continues already highlighted. Oh, seriously? That's not really a continue, is it? I'm running back at the start of the bloody game. So obviously continue um continue starts you off at the start of the level that you reach, so I suppose it will be a continue if you actually get to level two. Not a good start there, I'm a gone. It really wants me to get that bloody hell in fire, I'm telling you that's the second time it spawned them. Still, I'm quite impressed with this actually. Nice and colourful, and sprite flickers non existent, or oh, well, it is, it is, but it's not that bad. And it moves at quite a decent pace. So, yeah, I'm quite, quite impressed with it. <coughs> Come on around here a bit, see if I can get my dagger. Stop spawning now, I'm going too far across, maybe I can get another one to spawn. Come on, oh, there we go. Oh, you're having a laugh for the whole fight again? I'm not going to be able to judge that. Oh, fucking hell. This is going to be fun. Oh, shit. Oh. God. Oh, <laughs> seriously? Oh, my God, I've never killed him. I've never killed anything of any... 
significance in this game with that bloody army fire. God! <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get very far with it now because uh, I need to change the weapon quickly. This is garbage. I will give it one thing though, it's got a little bit more range in it than I remember than some of the other versions which usually just went straight up and down in front of you. Ooh. I need a duck that was, that's, that's bizarre. Yeah, these are going to be a nightmare, it's just randomly appear and I've got no way of actually bloody getting them really. It's just... Where's that, where's that funny symbol again? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, what's a bit so bad with the weapons in this game, if you actually, when you died, you spawned with the lance again, but I would say that, I suppose it's a double-edged sword really, isn't it, except once you get the dagger, you don't really want that door in it, so... Mm. Oh, turned that wrong. And if you notice as well, when those knights go off, the left hand side of the screen and they somehow kind of flicker back over to the right but they're not actually really there. It's a bit bizarre. I think this is my last life this isn't it? Can't do all with, can't do all with that. Oh no I've got one more life. Yeah, as with the usual um, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts games, you have to clear every level twice because when you get to the final chamber, you get sent back saying that, uh, I think in this game, it's saying that the prince has actually hid the weapon that would kill Satan in the graveyard where you've ever started. And you've got to get to the final chamber with the additional weapon, I believe. Uh, if you did go in without it, I don't think you, um, I think you get sent back again. Uh, that's me dead again this time. Anyway guys, I'll leave it there. That was uh, Gubs and Goblins on the NES. Thanks for watching.